You any plans for the rest of the day? Rest of the night? Um. No, I've got a um, got a soccer game tomorrow morning, so I got to get to bed decent time. Oh yeah. But I've not had nothing really. I'm playing against a mate from school as well, so that should be fun. What was that? I'm playing against a mate from school. I'm probably fucking. I'm probably gonna lose because my team's really shit. But <laughs> yeah. You look like a soccer player. Um. I play soccer. <laughs> I used I to really say, like soccer when I was in school. I just never played it after I left, you know? Yeah. I used to really enjoy yeah. it when I was, when we played it at school. I was always the goalie. That was my thing. I don't know why. I've been doing that recently. I've I think I <laughs> I think I just enjoyed being able to use my hands. Like, I felt special because I was the only one who could use the hands. For the last, like, month, I've been doing goalkeeper training and stuff. And I mm. think I'm going to get a game this weekend in goals. Which yeah, I never, like trained or anything never it was just you know casual stuff i yeah, liked yeah. i liked the goalie gloves that had like really good grip on them that was always good fun it's very satisfying yeah. i played for like a a decent team a couple years back but mm. i quit that and now i just play with my mates and it's it's more fun but we don't win a lot so yeah that's the trade-off i guess <laughs> yeah depends on what's more important having mm. fun or winning exactly depends on next how fun okay. winning is I want to focus on my ATAR, so... Okay. That's good. I never fucking did ATAR. So, good luck to you. Yeah, I want to be a... I want to be a doctor, so... A doctor? Oh, fuck. You got a lot of work ahead of you. I know. But... You know, I might be able to get there. It's worth trying. Mm. Even if I don't get... Even if I don't get into it, I'll still be able to get into something decent, right? So... Mm. And if you do, that's fucking mm. um, good pay. Yeah. So with being a doctor, um, I guess it's like a direct sense <clears throat> of like helping people, like a direct sense of job satisfaction, which yeah. I really, you know. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. It's all like as long as you enjoy it, you know, it's like the most important. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I can see and that. I'm lucky enough that. Like, uh, I'm in a, a good school, so. Mm. Yeah, I yeah. I was I was not a fan of high school, personally. I think everyone's different, but for me, I fucking I couldn't stand it. I hated it, and I dropped out halfway through year eleven, went to TAFE instead, and I think that's one of the best decisions I've ever made. Like TAFE was so much different to high school. It's like you got to do something you actually wanted to do, and you were treated like an yeah. adult instead of a child. It was one of my best life decisions so far but again yeah mm. everyone's best decisions is different i'm not saying you should drop it yeah for sure for sure it depends what you want what you want to do right so mm, yeah i mean i still have no idea what i'm like want to do so i don't know what i'm working towards so i definitely didn't back then so i was just kind you're of doing stuff you know you're doing stuff whatever you're doing a degree in that yeah i'm studying well, electronics now just kind of like <laughs> to pass the time or just like to get some knowledge yeah and it's experience in something right Mm. So even if you don't bring something electronics related, it shows that you do have like the capacity to mm. put in work. I so. will still, I will still have that knowledge, you know, no matter what I do. Yeah, and it's a kind of enjoy that based on your CV, right? So what was that? Mm. Sorry, um, it's like a million times better than just having a having a degree there. You just cut out the exact same time you said the same thing I missed last time. <laughs> it's, a million, it's a million times better than having a blank space in your CV. Yes, yes. I mean, <laughs> why do you have blank spaces in your CV? No, but like... No, but I get it, yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah my, my resume is like almost entirely hospitality based because that's pretty much all of this, what I've done, up um, like proper jobs up until now. And that's like... Yeah, definitely not what I want to do with the rest of my life. So I'm kind of like in the situation where my resume is like saying I'm good in this area, but I don't want to go to that area anymore. I'm very, very got sick of hospitality. It's definitely not for me. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a bunch you of... Think, you, think, uh, you don't have right? any idea what you want to go into still, right? I mean, I have... The problem is I have too many ideas, you know what I mean? I don't have one solid idea that I can just put all my effort into. I have... I have so many hobbies. 
So, mm. and I Jack don't know what to fucking, which one to pursue. Mm. They all seem to revolve around creating stuff. Like, with music, I'm creating music. Um, creating creating drawings, creating YouTube videos, creating live streams, creating podcasts. It's all like making things. So Dude, it's probably something around there. I respect that so much and I wish that was me, but that's like everything I'm not, you know? <laughs> I, I can't like create shit. I well, I'm not, form. it's not like what I'm, it's, I'm not talking about like my strengths. This is just what I'm interested in, you know? It's what I enjoy yeah. doing. So, yeah. If you enjoy you doing like you it, make music and stuff, right? Hey. So, you saying you make music and stuff, which is really uh, cool. like less so now, but I used to do it a lot in the past. I mean, I still really enjoy it. I just kind of stopped because I don't know enough about it. I I want to make a certain type of music, but I don't know how to do it. I can only make like EDM stuff. Yeah. I don't have the skill to make what I want to make. That's kind of why I stopped. See, that, no. that's the different like, type of people, right? So, you're like a creative person. I like... I can read the music and I'll play it. I like that kind of stuff. And, like, you can read music? That's nice. Oh, yeah. Wait, you can read music, right? Oh, not really, no. Do you, what do you read when you do guitar? Do you read tab? Yeah, pretty much just tabs, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know how to read yeah. actual music or know much music theory. Yeah, cause I started... Um, I started playing... When I started playing guitar, it was like classical guitar. So, it wasn't chords, it was finger picking so I had to know music like how to read for that mm. I know I'm stuttering a lot right now I'm trying to eat at the same time I'm sorry <laughs> you're but, all good yeah I'll so, get you yeah I'm like I'm not the English kind of person I'm the math kind of person you know? yeah I get that yeah I was always I was always more into the English side when I was at school but it was yeah. it wasn't like because I was um, bad at maths. I mean, I was never like great, but I didn't do maths because I didn't enjoy it, because I didn't understand why I needed to do it. It's actually something that I've learned a lot about since doing this electronics course, because back when I was in high school, when they were like teaching us algebra, I didn't understand what the purpose of algebra was. They never explained it. They were just like, this is, you know, X plus Y equals this. And I was like, why the fuck are they putting letters in mass? It felt like they were just making it harder for no reason. But once I've started learning this electronics, it's actually taught me what the point of algebra is. And it makes sense to me now why you need to know it. And, and now I've like started learning it and it's actually not hard at all once you actually put in the effort to learn it. The reason I was so bad at maths is because I didn't put any effort into it because I didn't understand why I needed to know it. Yeah, no, like school is looking from my experience, right? So I know mm. I know it's different for different people, especially especially if you have stuff going on. But from my own experience, school doesn't like it's not that hard if you actually put in effort and just yeah. spend time doing study and revision and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I absolutely agree with that. I I kind of disagreed when I was in high school. But now that I've like learned some other stuff, you know, I, yeah. It's really opened my mind doing like this because it's it's shown me why it's kind of shown me how bad high school is cuz like I would have I would have done algebra if I understood the reasons behind it and I had some motivation but I didn't you know I didn't know what I wanted to do yeah. so I didn't know why I needed it and I didn't you know I didn't have any goals so I didn't need to know algebra I need to know algebra to learn electronics so now I've got a motivation to learn it and once as soon as I had that motivation it's like it makes it so much easier you know it's just it's just the, the letters are placeholders that's it I didn't understand that. They never they never told me that when I was learning it in high school. They were just like, oh, X and Y equals X, Y, you know? And I was like, what the fuck? Why are you telling me that? Why do I need to know that? Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. So, see, I used to be very different to that. I used to be, um, I used to just learn stuff because I liked learning and, like, because I'd like to, like, 
I'd like to know stuff, you know, yeah. I'd like to, I'd like to have that knowledge there. And recently yeah. I've, that's kind of turned around a bit, but I still do work mainly because, um, well, A, because obviously I have that end goal of being a doctor and stuff mm. like that. But even in subjects that are relevant to that, I still try because I kind of, I have a reputation like within my family and like family friends and stuff that like, I have to do well, you know? Mm. It sounds like you've got a bit of a strict family, yeah. No, not even. They don't even. My no? mom and dad don't care. They don't make me study or anything. Really? Um, yeah, that's, that's just not my personal choice. But okay. It's just like become part of like my identity, you know. I guess. Mm. It sounds really fucking cringe and cliche, but not really, no. Yeah. I yeah, guess. I, I, I like learning just to know things, but I kind of I have to have a reason to know it. Yeah. Like I like to learn things because I like to see a future where I'm like I benefit from the knowledge in the future and that was not the case when I was you know in high school I couldn't see any benefit in knowing that knowledge it was just like useless knowledge yeah so yeah I like knowing things but only when I see a reason to a value to have that knowledge and since yeah I keep going back to the algebra example but I think it's a really good example I didn't know why I needed to know algebra, so it had no value to me. So I was, just couldn't make myself do it, you know? Yeah. It's such a big flaw in, in, in like, the high school that I went to anyway. Education I don't know. Just, yeah, yeah. Mm. No, I mean, think about it. They still don't really. They, they still don't stuff, do that? Especially in, especially in middle school, they don't really explain why you need stuff, mm. you know? It's so yeah. strange to me. It's just like, yeah. yo, look, here's some information. Just write it down a bunch of times so that you can write it down yeah. at, in an exam. And then they're like, wonder why people aren't excited to do that. Yeah, and what's crazy to me, right, is that um, so many... Because I go to a school where there's like a lot of a lot of very smart people, right? And they do a lot of, a lot of revision and shit. But mm. all these people, they, they learn stuff for their exam and then they just forget shit again. It's the same yeah. with me, right? It's just, it doesn't make sense because you're not fucking, you're not retaining any of that information. It's just... Yeah, of course not. You're, you're you know, not learning it for yourself. You're learning it for yeah. school. Exactly. And I guess if, with your point again, if you knew the reason behind like why you're doing the algebra, you have more motivation to remember that past your exam. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah. Because from my point of view back then, it was like playing a video game, right? The first few levels were like adding up ones and twos. You go up a few levels and then you get into multiplication and then you go up a few more levels and now now they start changing numbers for letters just to make it more confusing. That's all I thought about. I was just like, why are they making it harder on purpose? That's how I thought about it, which is yeah. very interesting because yeah. then it's nothing to do with that. It's like this is a, a skill that's going to help you in the future. Well, even not not everyone, just if you're doing certain um, career paths. But I didn't even know yeah. that, you know. It was just like, look, now there's letters. That's all I knew. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's a topic I'm kind of passionate about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, edu- the education system itself. The- it's hard to talk from personal experience because I get that, like, I don't represent like, the majority of kids in the education system. I mean, yeah, because- I would say the same thing. I would say I'm a very, I'm a weird fucking dude. I'm probably not- because they- they've got to, they've got to try and account for everyone, right? That's yeah. the difficult part. And so you're on different shit. But for for me personally, there's been so many like. There's so many flaws in it. Like, mm. yeah, so many flaws. Because I, I already know exactly what I want to do. I know exactly what I'm interested in. I know I want to be a doctor. But yeah. I'm still... That's, that's really I'm good. Still, yeah, you know that I'm at still, that age. Yeah, yeah. I'm still forced to do politics and law and economics. Mm. You know? Okay. I still have to take ATAR English all the way until I finish because that's a prerequisite of everything. Hmm. And even just to get an ATAR school. Yeah. Yeah, I have heard that. I I never did ATAR, so 
yeah. I'm just not going by what right. I've heard from other people, you know. Yeah, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. Mm. <sighs> yeah, that's the what you said before is very true that it's different for everyone. So they literally, there's no such thing as one perfect system. Exactly. But I feel like they should take that into account, you know. Um Yeah. A big a big reason why TAFE was so much better than high school for me is because a lot more of um, what you were doing was in your hands, you know? It wasn't up to the government. You chose what you were studying and you would choose something you're interested in and you, you have a motivation to do it then, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I, I do get you that. You do it I, on I, your I, own terms, you know? You can, in high school, you can't just, like, stand up and walk out of class. You'd get fucking... Bro. A demerits or some shit like that but in yeah, TAFE you know you can just stand up and fuck off you know you can do whatever you want as long as you finish the course you know it's up to you it's not I up to anyone else so much man because you have no idea like fucking at least like four fifths like of the time I spend at school is me sitting in class just listening to the teacher go over shit that I already know <laughs> yeah so, dude Either just they've already explained it, or just because of shit that my mum's told me or shit I've learned in the previous year. It's just so much wasted time. Like, yeah. I was, my grades were best. Like, I was most efficient during the lockdown period where I did not have to go to school. Because <laughs> I could yeah. manage my own time. And I get that's not representative of like most kids, right? Because they just want to, they just want to hang out and play video games, whatever. Yeah. But for me personally, like, like having to attend school like that being compulsory it doesn't actually help my education I'd do better if I had the option to stay at home mm. yeah yeah because everyone is different exactly. it's just like wasted time sometimes as well it's like you could have been using that time to <laughs> do something time. else more productive but yeah, yeah not everyone would would do that that's the thing but yeah. you know when you're choosing something that you want to study you're more likely to actually make use of your time instead of, you know? That's why yeah. I like TAFE compared to high school. Yeah. And even on a smaller scale, that's why I'm looking forward to next year over this year. Because even though I still want to go to the classes I have to go to and study what the government tells me to do, I can still, <laughs> next year I get to choose exactly what I want to do, right? For ATAR, I get to choose exactly the courses I want to take. Mm. Excluding yeah. English, which is compulsory in yeah. ATAR. But, yeah. What do you reckon about that? Do you reckon English should be compulsory? That's not, that's it's a difficult one. It's a difficult one. It you definitely reckon? shouldn't be compulsory towards your ATAR score because even though it's compulsory, right? You mm. know how that works. Like, if you take six subjects, only your top four go into your ATAR score. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know that. So only the top four account for your ATAR score. So no matter how many subjects you take, it's always that's why there's a minimum of four subjects for ATAR. Mm, okay. um, in some states, English like. No matter what you get in it, it could be a worse subject. It always counts in those top four. Wow. In WA, I'm really lucky that it doesn't. Because if that was the case in WA, my ATAR would like be significantly reduced. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's lucky then. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's strange. How luck depends. You know, it depends on where you are. Will affect your score. Isn't that a bit strange? Yeah. It's it's so it's it's stupid and like people. So if I went in. Victoria, I think it's Victoria that has that system. If I went to Victoria, I sat the exact same exams, I felt mm. like I did the exact same result, I would get a better ATAR result here than I would over there. Yeah. And it wouldn't get measured, well, it would get measured in waste and it would get measured in whatever their equivalent, I think it's vice. Um, fuck, what was I going to say? The location of where yeah, you complete your so, ATAR? Yeah. So it'd be measured, both of them would be down on your CV as just an ATAR score, but they'd be different. Mm, so it's not yeah. even like they're different measurements, you know? Not Doing like the exact same work, getting the exact same marks, you will get a different end score depending on lo the location that you live in. That's just, yeah, makes no sense, eh? Exactly. It doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, something has to be done. <laughs> Very yeah. strange. Very strange. The uh, the TAFE that I'm going to to do electronics, I don't know if I've mentioned this to you before, but it's ridiculous. Like, I'm interested in what I'm learning, but um, the majority of what I've learned in electronics is 
um, I borrowed a book from their library and I've been studying that book and that has taught me infinitely more than I've learned in the actual classes. They are, the lecturers are trash. Well, I've only got two. One of them is all right, but the other one is just like, you can tell she's not a lecturer. You know, she yeah. doesn't know how to teach. She explains things like as if you already know it. And then when you ask questions, she gets like passive aggressive at you for not knowing things. It's ridiculous. Yes. Let me guess something, because what I'm loving about this year with like math and shit, right, is I do not have to listen in class. I can do whatever I want because mm. I'm doing like methods. So I've got I've got these. And there's set like there's sure set this. courses that you have to do. Mm. So like no matter how much I don't concentrate in class, I have a test tomorrow, right? No, I have a test on Monday. Yeah. I can go through. I know it's on the first three chapters. I can study that stuff as much as I want. Yeah. Because yeah. it's a set course rather than um, in previous years where it hasn't been, like, where it hasn't been. It's standardized for my school, but not to the extent that they make textbooks specifically for it. Because it's like a, this is a, a nationally recognized course. So mm. there are textbooks for that. And it means that I can go through and I can study that stuff myself. But, yeah. I know Insane. my speech is really bad right now. I'm sorry. It's just evenings. Yeah, no, I get yeah. you. I get you. Don't worry about it. it happens to me all the time. <laughs> uh. Yeah, um, yeah, I, uh, I'm never gonna do like a um, another course at this TAFE that I'm at right now. That's for sure. Because I could just yeah. learn. I could have learned exactly what I've learned here. Instead of paying six hundred bucks for it, which by the way is half price, I could learn the same stuff for not. Not only free, but if I were to pay for an actual course, I could probably get it for like, you know, 50 bucks. But I could also just like get it for free, just like, you know, YouTube and fucking shit like that. Yeah. How long is your electronics course? It's only a one semester course, so six months or like less than six months. 600 bucks ain't that bad. Yeah, but that's the thing. Um, that's cheap for a TAFE course. And yeah, and I could learn the exact same knowledge online for fifty bucks, easy. You know, just yeah, like get no, a subscription no, to like yeah, uh, Skillshare or something like that. I guess you don't get the um, you don't get the certificate at the end of it. Yeah, right? yeah, that's so, true. You're the the six hundred bucks is I'm paying for the certificate. I'm paying for the the signature on a piece of paper that says I did it. That's what I'm paying six hundred bucks for. Yeah, which is it's kinda, pretty it's crazy insane. Think about it, but, I reckon, yeah. I reckon in the next like decade, maybe a little bit more than a decade, r roughly the next decade, I reckon um, government schooling like that, like university and TAFE, is going to become less and less relevant because people learn real world skills online for free or for pennies these days. And yeah, you know, but the the only issue is right, companies are going to start. To recognize that, you know what I mean? Yeah. The value. Like, Sorry? There still needs to be like a measurement of like your qualifications, though, because that's like the. Alongside obviously learning, which you can do online, mm. the one positive thing about undertaking a degree is that you do get that a nationally or internationally recognized certificate at the end that tells people exactly what you've learned. Mm. So it tells them exactly what certifications you have. Yeah, that is true. And I, I just reckon the value of that certificate is going to decrease, not go to nothing but i reckon it's going to slowly decrease because you can you know just prove your skills without it you know it's it's yeah. going to take it's you know a lot of people a lot of employers aren't going to be not bothered to to do that and just only go for the certificates but it's still possible and more and more people are going to be doing it so i feel like the value of it will go down just because yeah. you know it's all about who you know you know you've heard that that yeah. um saying so it's like you know, your friend puts in a good word for you. You know, this guy knows his shit in this area. And they're like, wow, he must be really good. And they get him in, you know, they, and he, he proves to that company that he knows his shit instead of just being like, look, here's a piece of paper with a signature on it. But that's just my opinion. Yeah. Could be, definitely be wrong. No, no, it definitely, it definitely makes sense. It's interesting. It's an interesting mm -hmm. thought. But anyway, I need a fucking pee and then All probably right. go to bed.
That was a fucking interesting conversation, dude. It was. I do like me a good conversation here and there. Good conversation, Adam. Have a good sleep, lad. Have a good pee. Thank you, my friend. I will do my best. You too. I'll talk to you when I talk to you. Yep. Probably pummel, like, next week or something. I don't know. Or Destiny before that. Oh, yes. Depends. I'm keen for some Destiny. Yeah. All right. Cheerio. See you around, mate. Have a good one. See you, buckaroo.